welcome to Programming 2, and we're going to look at the 5.03 Strings Unit Project. Okay, for our assignment, the Strings Unit Project is write two programs, one using the String class and one using the String Buffer class. Your program should store a set of strings in an array list and print these strings in the order in which they are added. The output of your program should cr create a, a complete sentence. So in doing this, here is um, Notepad++. I originally did it on Notepad. I was having problems. NetBeans, I was never able to fix it. The string buffer is pretty straightforward. You can make this as big as you want because, you know, the string buffer, you can add to it. You know, I put in here append, the append, dot append whether dot append is dot append nice and I set it to string so that's how the string buffer works this is a new string buffer and it's pretty straightforward you could print that out okay so I was was um, doing the string class is a little bit different a little more annoying because um, you know once it's set, it's set. You know, it's set in stone, pretty much. I wasn't able to get NetBeans working. There's some type of a glitch. I can't, I cannot uninstall it. Um, so I went and uh, went through the Bucky <laughs> with New Boston, and I downloaded Eclipse. Yes, I got Eclipse here. Now, um, you're um, doing this sentence to string a little more complicated as you can see so don't worry about snippet um, this is something that automatically happened when I made my program I don't know that it, I don't think it's necessary at all so that just happens to be with mine but you definitely want to import Java utilities now if you wanted to import Java util star some of, you, that, some of you that automatically is included, right? You know, I'm trying to be nice, trying to do it the, ba the way your course wants to do. The difference is, util star means import the whole Java utility. Okay, Java util array list means just import the array list function. So, you know, it doesn't matter whether you have dot star or dot array list, they're both going to work. So like I said, I called my, my class string prize. You can call it whatever you want. So this is the first part of the assignment. See, I did the second part first because that's easy. It's just a, a, dot, a bunch of dot appends plus a two string at the end of your thing. Here you got to set up a loop. So I set number one is it, number two is is, number three three is finally, number four is spring, number five is like, number string si number six is weather, string s number seven is outside. It could have been done A, B, C, D, or whatever you wish, okay? doesn't matter what you call the variable. So I set seven different strings with a word and a space in them, right? So then I set up a um, sentence as an array list. And I def see I have, it's going to produce a string, okay? And so I have it over here as well as new array list. So I just add to the sentence, you know, this says, I, you know, and this is number one, it. So it adds them to it one at a time. And you know, once um, once you're finished with the loop, you've got your sentence. So you just print it with a dot at the end. And um, let me run this. So you can see at the bottom, let me bring this up. It is finally spring-like weather outside. See, that's, that's all you're doing. But once again, the string buffer project's much easier to construct than the actual string project, because the string project, 
you you've got to add you got to make little strings to add to your big string and that's just the way you do it okay so you can write whatever you want for your sentences i'm sorry it took me so long to do this net beans is fried so i had to use a new ide and once again if you want to use a notepad plus plus it's not going to help you with your coding, but it will definitely tell you if something's wrong. It won't tell you why it's wrong. It'll just tell you that it's wrong, okay? So that's why I use an ID. You know, all you have to do is uh, submit your Java, and that should be it. I hope this is helpful. Bye.